Hi, I'm Richard Tang, CEO of Zen Internet, and I've written a lot of software in my time and really enjoyed playing around with ChatGPT. I've got a particular interest in AI. Now, one of the things that I try to do in ChatGPT is to get it to be a sales chatbot for our broadband products. And one thing I realized that when you want to try and get ChatGPT um, to do something, you've almost got to program it in the English language um, and you know I learned this new term called prompt engineering so I guess you've got to do prompt engineering uh, one of the things that I that you've got to do when you sell a broadband service is you've got to check what service can a particular customer get at their address um, and you can do that by asking for their postcode uh, typically and then putting the postcode into an availability checker so in ChatGPT, what i did was i said look if the customer has one of these 20 postcodes then they can get full fiber off of these products if the postcode is not one of those 20 postcodes then they can get fiber to the cabinet ftc so offer these alternative products and and that worked really well in chat gpt as i say i had to have quite a few goes quite a bit of prompt engineering to get it to do the right thing the only problem with that is that in the uk there are 1.6 million postcodes so it's not practical to input such a big list um, into chat GPT and I was thinking we've already got a system that does availability checking for customers based on their postcode but how can I get chat GPT or GPT 4 to interface to our existing availability checker our, our existing um, business system through an API that already exists within Zen um, and so I scratched my head for a little bit and then came up with a solution I tested it out in GPT-4 um, and it worked really well so I'm, I'm just going to share that here so what I did was again I set up a prompt and I'll, and I'll put the full prompt and the transcript in the description so you can see what I said and I said to, to GPT-4 I said what I want you to do is ask the customer for their postcode and then I want you to just extract the postcode, surround it by square brackets and put it back in the chat on its own. What I'm then going to do is write into the chat a response code to that, also in square brackets, that then tells you whether the customer can get full fibre or whether they can only get fibre to the cabinet. And of course, I was just doing that in... Um, chat GPT plus uh, which is $20 a month that gives you access to GPT 4 um, but if you will program it through the GPT 4 API which it, which I haven't got yet it's current there's currently a wait list for that API then of course what you would do is you would have your chat window on your own website you would then write a piece of code that gets that text that sends it off to GPT 4 that gets the response from GPT 4 and then feeds back that that back to the customer and of course in that little little thin slice of code you can pass the information that's coming back from GT, GPT-4 so when you see that postcode in square brackets rather than sending it back to the customer you, you, you send it to your availability checker API you get the response from the API you send the response back to GPT-4 so that will be full fiber or FTTC and then GPT-4 can then advise the customer, yes, you know, you can get full fiber, here are the products, or yes, you can get FTTC, here are the products. So I tried that out, worked really well. Um, and what it means is using that sort of simple prompt engineering, you can link GPT-4 into any existing business system. You can get it to control things. So lots of potential there. and. I'll certainly be um, playing about with that within Zen. Our software teams are going to be playing with, about with that uh, in Zen and um, see what the future holds for using GPT-4 integrated with our business systems. So I hope you found that useful. Um, give it a try yourself. And um, thanks very much for watching.